Linda Lacrem here in Emerson for television. Yeah. So tell us how they're letting it go, maybe, not carry all the luggage and baggage from 2022. This flight test that we're about to take, we don't think we're able to carry extra luggages here. It's quite expensive when you do extra luggage. So guys, welcome to the dish, okay? We're happy to take all of your comments, your reactions on 0550 0330-331511. Follow us on all of our social media handles. Once again, welcome. But let me tell you about FC Beauty College, Ghana's leading beauty therapy training provider, where our mission is to complete your education and create careers. We have been at the forefront of beauty therapy and hairdressing training for over two decades with our graduates highly sought after by luxury spas, state-of-the-art salons, hotels, and well-being centers. So we'll run full programs in beauty therapy, cosmetology, hair technology, and beauty spa therapy. You can also register for short award programs in makeup artistry, nail technology, manicure, pedicure, Swedish massage, facial therapy, eye technology, and various short programs in hair technology. Our business programs include entrepreneurship, social media, and marketing. FC Beauty College is duly accredited by the Commission for Technolo Technic Technical and Vocational Education Training, that's TVET. Call us on 02442. 334 or 0242768861 for registration and admission. There's so much you can learn at FC Beauty College. I also want to tell you where you can get some good pizza to get, you know, as you're starting your year there. Okay, so to get good pizza, I'd recommend Domino's Pizza delivery is free. Grab one classic medium sized pizza with a chilled bottle of Coke at only 50 Ghana cities in any of our branches and get the maximum satisfaction you deserve. So you want to call them, those two branch, on 030-825-0077. And also the East Legon branch, 0308-25077. To place your order, you can also get it delivered to you for free. And uh, you can also get a branch Osu that's near Kuala, and I already said East Ligon, but it's close to the underbridge as well. And finally, let's recommend the best place where you can get food snacks. So for good food snacks, look no further than McFeely's. Their variety of tasty snacks will keep you wanting more. If you're looking for the tastiest ripe and ripe or Kili Willy spice plantain chips, jollof beans, peanuts, cinnamon coated in Kati cake, achomo flour chips, cocoa chips, dry fruit, granola, coconut flakes, and meat pie, cakes, or cookies. Mark Feely's is the best place to get them. They also cater for birthdays, conferences, and other events. Pick up your daily servings or snacks from their shop at East Ligon near Barolacia Road at American House. You can also call them on 0243-911-231 or 050-1090-749. You can also order on um, Bold Food. You can uh, check them out at Mark Felix Foods and also on Global at Mark Felix Kitchen. Follow them on Instagram. They are the best. Guys, once again, welcome. Welcome to the dish. Okay. And I hope that I also don't carry my luggage into 2023. I mean, come on, So, everybody's favorite on the AM Club and everywhere. We managed to bring her today on the dish as well. Ask for girl. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at me that because I'm, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> like, like, okay don't, don't worry, I rehearse a title for all of you. Okay, okay. okay. everybody, <laughs> favorite. If I forgot on the show, where's Afro Girl? Where's Afro Girl? Yeah. So Afro Girl is Madame with the white and the beautiful short skirt right here to my extreme left. I just want left. everybody to see that wearing shorts. <laughs> <skirt. laughs> okay, so everybody's energizer. Mm -hmm. Look at I don't that. Look at that. And if you have to say her name, she knows herself. Yeah, Bita is just amazing. And so she's also joining us on the dish right here today. They say that she is Jason L.A.'s mother. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so today is Jason L.A.'s mother. But calm, beautiful. She's, she's just she's just one person you see in the corner, but always doing her job. I like to really know how she's not, you know, carrying her luggage into 
2023 here. So, guys, <laughs> our, our topic for today is letting it go. And if you're not going to let it go and you want to hold on to it, too, please teach us how you want to hold on to it. But in the meantime, let's go for a quick breather. This is the dish. We'll be right back. Now, beyond the festivities of this season, Christmas is also a time to give back, change, and touch lives. We at MX24 are inviting you to join us in raising funds for the surgery of six-year-old Rashida Yakubu, who is suffering from club foot defect. Our target is to raise 35,000 Ghana cities that will be used for the corrective surgery. It's our utmost desire to raise the funds for the surgery for this month of December. Whatever you have, however little, would be very much appreciated. Please send all your donations to Momo number 0546660115, 0546660115 to Blackfoot Publications. Or you can also send to APSA bank account number 108211MX24 Media Limited High Street Branch. Now the reference for all your transactions should be Rashida Yakubu in all your donations. Together let's help change Rashida's life for the better. Thank you and God bless you so much for your donations. My name is Elom. I'm the executive director at Agrisol Limited. Agrisol uses an integrated food market system to ensure the productivity of the farmer, ensuring sustainable markets, improving the economic livelihood, and also make food available, accessible, affordable for the populace. Before Absa Young African Works program, we were challenged with affording inputs uh, such as fertilizer due to the uh, hike in prices as a result of uh, COVID. The funding support enabled us to continue with our We Solve project, a project that catered to women and young farmers who are supported with land development input technology and technical support. We are grateful to APSA Young African Works Program for their support. It's going a long way to improve lives and livelihoods. I got to shake up for your love. Honey for your love. I got kill for your love. I'm young and I'm nice. I got flow, I got vibe, and I want to start to enjoy my life. Last made you watch them. I'm spin for. You know we really support now. My shabba my Jesus niwa. Yeah, bless our country. Big shout out to MX Twenty Four. Keep watching. Support now, Mali. Mali. Keep watching. Support now, Mali. Mali. Yo, what up? What's up? This be Kwesi out there. And keep watching MX24. Keep it locked. Did I do? Drinking my hand and vibing. Uba waiting outside. I don't care. I'm still in my towel. Towel. Dancing in my towel. Hey guys, it's me, your one and only Davi Diva, Black Star Barbie, Feli Nuna. And you're watching MX24. Don't go nowhere, because Davi Diva, Edge Limit says so. Mwah. Your song bad jackie keep watching mx24 yo yo what's up what's up it's your boy last minute you watching mx24 you know what it is up on our marriage about my jesus niwa yeah that's a good thing big shout out to mx24 keep watching it's up on our mali malians yo what up what's up this be crazy out there and keep watching mx24 keep it locked did i did Drinking my hand, I'm vibing. Uba waiting outside. I don't care, I'm still in my towel, towel, dancing in my towel. Hey guys, it's me, your one and only Davi Diva, Black Star Barbie, Feli Nuna, and you're watching MX24. Don't go nowhere, because Davi Diva, Edge Limit says so. Mwah. Your song bad jackie keep watching mx24 online visit mx24online.com today mx24 
fun, fearless and factual. Visit www.mx24online.com for news, exclusive behind-the-scenes videos, up-to-the-minute sports updates and the latest broken pen stories now. Experience more of MX24 Online. Visit mx24online.com today. MX24 of 2023 and before the break i said that listen how about girls just you know sit down and conversate about things that they do not want to carry into 2023 so <laughs> i don't know my producer just thought to use some difficult word okay when we get there we'll try even trying to pin some pin simple but listen everybody goes into a new year with a high expectation you know of fulfilling their resolutions however the unforeseeable happens at some point, which she, th she thought to describe it as force majeure, you know, which forces us to change your directions. Maybe you're losing your property. It could be your job. It could be your loved one, among others. And so today we want to know how best we can let it go. We're no experts. We're no counselors. We're no coach. These are just our experiences we want to share with you. You can also share with us your experiences as well. The numbers would be on your screen at some point so guys welcome once again so the day is my lady with a pair of jeans and white <laughs> extreme madame sudia you know them already so i'll start with the day zoli is only right you that you um how how have how has your 2023 started i should say well i'd say it started on a good note well, I cut my hair to let oh. go of the past. Okay. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I, mean, I get it. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah. Wait a minute. I mean, it, it took a lot. I wanted to do it last year. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I, I, I didn't know if I wanted to do it. Then this year, I was seated and I'm like, you know what? I, I want to start afresh. So when I cut my hair, it gave me like a new vibe. Yeah. And people are actually loving it. And yeah. I'm feeling myself. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Before a woman who decides what to cut their yeah. hair, it really, really means a mm -hmm. lot. People say that a woman who cuts their hair is about to change their life. But I say that a woman who cuts her hair, is about, it's worth interviewing. It means that there's something yeah, yeah. you can uncover or discover from this woman. You're loving it so far. Yeah. But apart from the fashion and beauty of it, why did you cut it particularly? Some people express pain. Mm. Some people want to show happiness. Some people want to show so many things in the cuts. They I wanted something so bad from God, I cut my hair. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. But I thought people say it looks good on me. I thought yeah. to want to carry it on. But you particularly, why? Okay, the reason I cut my hair was because, I don't know, I, I felt that um, I had so much on me. Like, it was weighing me. And I thought that if I cut my hair, it's going to let go. It's going to let me be free. Yes. Look at that. So I, I, I took the chance and mm. then I, I cut it. And trust me, I felt so good. I felt like some heavy weight had been lifted off of me. And I'm, I'm loving myself and I'm loving my new look. Yeah. Okay. How long yeah. have you had it? How many days? Oh, I cut it yesterday. You are oh, kidding. Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I thought, I thought this was like... A week or yeah. something. No, no, no. I cut it yesterday. I actually wanted to cut it before we entered into 2023. Yeah. But I, I wasn't having the courage to. Okay. Yes, I wasn't okay. having the courage to. So, so the one thing that pushed me? So the one thing that pushed me, I saw on my friend's status, she went to cut her hair. <laughs> and then I, I was like, oh, thank you so much. You don't know how much you've <laughs> <me>. motivated me. <laughs> and then me. she told me that. You know, sometimes you don't have to overthink it. Mm. I mean, if it comes to you, just go and do it. Else you start thinking about a whole lot of things. I'm like, okay. So yesterday, I woke up, and then I went to the salon, and then I, I want to cut my hair. Did they tell you that it's quite cumbersome to maintain and keep? Well, they didn't tell you that part. No, I actually read about that. I thought of that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I thought of that when too. When we come to the point where there are some challenges, disappointments yeah. that will come with you, you letting go of something, mm -hmm. then maybe we can discuss that. But it's the first time talking to you that I've seen somebody physically let go of yeah. something because then you can let go of something, but it's, it's not physical. Yeah. Okay, so, but Madam Energizer, <laughs> how's your Christmas been? Oh yeah, we've met. We, we were we were working yes. during Christmas. Yes, you know we were working during the Christmas. Mm. Ah, 
But yes. I still had fun. I still made time to have fun. So it was good. And then at least I didn't do it alone. I had somebody with me. So okay. it was fun. Okay. Yeah. You have our attention, all of us. Mm -hmm. The woman has said somebody with me, Shazi. <laughs> <laughs> because you know who you are talking about. You don't know who I am talking about. Sorry. Yeah, I made a new friend last year, and he's been he's been. You mean in December or last year? Just December or the whole of last year? No, I think we became friends in like July. They're okay. about. He's proven to be a good friend because last year wasn't a really good year for me. Mm. I had lost a best friend in last year, and it was. You know, I cut my two. Okay, yeah. wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. 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 Maybe we need to say this part. <laughs> <laughs> me. You're your own. Okay. <laughs> because at the time that my friend and I were split up, I was still trying to get him to be like... And oh, then, so that he died? No, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't <laughs> die. I, I, he didn't die. He, he looked yeah, at me in the not. face and told me that he, he can't be friends anymore. Okay. Uh -huh. And then I just woke up one morning, put on a tank top jeans, went to a zoo, went into a random shop and told them I want to cut my and I didn't realize I was cutting my hair till they were washing and I was crying. Aww. And the woman was like, why, you, you didn't make the decision. I said, no, I didn't make the decision to cut my hair. Okay. She said, you'll be okay. Okay. So okay. December has been pretty good. The year has started really nice. Mm -hmm. so I'm grateful to God, basically. Okay. Would you say that you're carrying forward some luggage baggage? When no. I say no. you're not, you're very I, free. Yes. I, I would say I am not carrying, because when I, my old friend, you see that thing where you make a new friend and then their friends become your friends. Mm -hmm. And then it's like you personally, you don't have friends. And it was around the same time I came to MX24 and then I made friends with these ladies. And okay. now I can text Afro girl, ask her, oh, Charlie, I want something. I, I feel like I'm finding myself. Beautiful. So you're lightweight. Yes. Aye. Very lightweight, like my, my, my weights. <laughs> oh my god okay i told you this is bad. right afro 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 my girl i mean i biased towards you everybody knows this <laughs> are you are you free I'm it's just four four days yeah into the year but are you free i i would say i'm not carrying anything mm. I, I don't think i am carrying anything you know there, there are pockets of issues that you know, you are still thinking about and trying to figure out, mm. but it's not like. Would that would that be called baggage, though? Well, yeah, baggage, luggage, anything. Yeah. That's anything that's you. attached to yeah, you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, then maybe I'm carrying something. You're small, carrying small, something. Small. 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 Okay. Small. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, let's go back to the day. Mm. So the whole of last year, did you do anything apart from your hair? Mm -hmm. Did you do anything profound? good or bad, that this year you look at it and say, no, I'm not doing it. Or this year you say, I am. And these are not resolutions. These are, like, it hits yeah. you so hard. Mm -hmm. It's not because they say force majeure, and force majeure is not <laughs> something you intend to. It's yeah. a natural happening. Yeah. And then it kind of, like, um, yeah. truncates mm -hmm. what was the natural order. So did you do something? Did anything happen to you? that you will look back and say, no way, I'm not going to allow this into 2023. I'm letting it go. Okay. Well, I would say it's my relationship with people. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel that I'm not able to tell people if like, they're stepping on my foot. I'm not able to come at you and then tell you that, hey, I don't like what you're doing. I, I really like to keep it inside of me, go home and go and cry, come the next oh. day, and <laughs> I'm fine with it. Sometimes when you do something to me, instead of me telling you how I feel, then I think about how you are going to feel when I say it to you. Yeah. So I decided that, no, I'm not going to do it again, because at the end of the day, it's it kind of leaves an emotional baggage on me. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. because I go home and then I'm like, what did I do to you? Did I wrong you in any way? What am I supposed to do? So, yes, all of you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going to let it go. Right. Yeah. I mean, so, not in a bad way, uh -huh. but to tell you how I feel. Yes. Yeah. And do you think that though we're not supposed to go to the past, you look at somebody that you really wanted to tell your mind, you didn't tell your mind, mm. you're, you're, you have to tell them by all means. You're like, hey, you know what? I've been meaning to tell you this. Have you, have you spotted a few people? 
That you didn't do in 2022. I don't like to call it resolution because then you're res you're resolute to achieve that. Mm -hmm. So what's that one thing that you think you failed at in 2022 and you don't want to do that in 2023? I mm. think helping financially more. So, okay. in but do you have it? You see, that's the thing. You understand. <laughs> <laughs> so now you have to figure out how to go and get it. Okay. So you understand. So it's okay. more of you're going. Mm. So obviously, there's a lot more on you. Mm. And plus, in my household, it's more of my mom. Yeah, yeah. You understand? And you can see there's so much pressure. So I, I want to pull my own weight. If oh. not for anything, right? at least, like, if I can provide things for even myself, then it means that that's You're one less. You're taking away yes, from her. Yes, exactly. Okay. I, want to be sh I want to be able to show up more for my siblings. Like, you want something, I'm going to get it. Like, I'm, I'm supposed to be that one. Like, I'm, that, I'm, I'm that, I'm that, I'm that, yeah, yeah I'm that, advice. I'm that sister, I'm that, if you need something, or oh, if I call true. her, she'll get it, then I'll say, you will cry, you are stressing me, you are stressing me, but then eventually I'll still, you know. Should we tell her already? <laughs> no, guys? But I get it. I get that it's not, Would like, you start with me, please? No. <laughs> Tomorrow. Please, can That's I why you're called Mama Gun. Watch it, watch it. Watch it. <laughs> Mama <Gun>. Watch it. <laughs> Plenty of <macaroni. laughs> Okay. Then let me stay with you again. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I do. Okay. Everything okay? Perfect. Wow. Hey, perfect. Perfect is a huge word. All right, then. <laughs> you don't <laughs> have anything. Yeah. You have nothing. You have nothing to say, yeah. then. You have a boyfriend? No. Okay. Are you hoping? Was, was it a burden on you in 2022? Did you think that you needed a boyfriend? By the way, how old are you? You have to age a woman doesn't tell. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you say that. Okay. At some point, yes. Um, after I lost a relationship, I, I, I thought the next thing was to get into a relationship and then make me feel better about myself. Because, I mean, I had a lot of friends who would say, oh, look at that, I like you, and, and those things. But meeting one person who could be like a best friend and sort of like a boyfriend, even what though it wasn't... What are you talking about? We need clarity. Okay. So he's not my boyfriend. But he does everything your boyfriend Have you sent... Yeah, he's watching, right? Yes. Because then he needs to watch you so he knows his stand. <laughs> and the people and on Twitter and oh everywhere Lord. should know. And yes. we have tried not to because I told him that I wanted to keep... I just wanted to feel like I have healed properly because I don't want to go into a relationship and still feel that insecurity. Hold on, hang on. Let's stay with you. This one that you stopped before you got this friend that is serving as a boyfriend or boyfriend. Mm. What time did you stop the relationship with? We ended in January. January 2022. Yes. So that's still 2022 baggage. Yes. You are carrying the 2022 baggage. No, I'm not carrying it because now I feel like I am okay. I just 
I just like the kind of vibe I have with him now. And I feel mm. like a relationship might Is that what he it. wants? Yes. That's he's what he wants. He's okay with it. Is that what he wants? Yeah. Or you've, or you've well, shoved wait, it down his throat? Wait, wait, wait. He says things like, I'll do what you want because what you want is what I also want. You are her I mean, friend. Is she? <laughs> she, I know she's not going to say, she's going to say he's my boyfriend, but hey, I bind you. Please, that's not a question. You're my fat, you're fat, you're fat. Yeah, I know it's not an interview, but I just want clarity to yes. it. Because you were hurt in 2022 January, you thought you should heal. Yes. Are you healed? I am very much healed. But your submission means that you, no, because you see, wanted the reason, reading. What convinced me that I was healed was yesterday, uh -huh. my ex texted me, uh -huh. and then he said, oh, uh, happy new year i want to see you go and i said mm, okay and then he was like believe it or not i want to see you go. and i said i never said i won't grow i am going to grow of course i am going to grow i also wish you also go you're doing good in your field i just wish what, you all the best what failed at you or him 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 yeah. so you're not the one carrying anybody because no. sometimes you have you have a thorn yes that thorn and and, and, and but to be very honest with you october last year if that guy came to stand in front of you, I'm sure we use the, the, the back of my hand. But yesterday, really, when he texted me, I was like, You're healed then. Yeah. Charlie, just Beautiful. chill. Be okay. I'm good. Aww. Beautiful. Beautiful. No, oh, no, my relationship is perfect. It's not easy. Calm easy. down. See the way they can be they calm down. down. <laughs> Yeah. I don't have any baggage when it comes to that. I mean, I have a very supportive partner. Hey. <laughs> and, uh, but what's going on here? Why do they all have perfect relationships? I don't have a relationship. I have a friend. That's a piece that different. They have because boyfriends. But she she has, is that accountability? Friend because you see, it is when there's accountability, when somebody's holding you accountable, that is when you know whether or not you're failing or you're not failing. That was, well, that's when you know whether you should carry some things into 2023. So how are you prepared for 2020? So are you telling me that right now, right now, no, if we say thank you for watching the dish right now, no, and you have carried yourself and you have walked down that staircase, yes. and somebody do you see, let me add your number, and then, and then a person is nice and you like the person, you start a relationship or what? You leave this friend, you friend zone. If I want to start a relationship, we will be that guy, of course. Which guy? This one? And the, the one, one you is, are with Yes, now. my friend, 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 no. because... So what if he doesn't ask to? Well, then we move on. I mean, I'm so so you will move, you will now get you will be okay yes, to start yes. a relationship. And I'll make sure he's also okay with me moving on. Do you so like that him? I love. I like him. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. You know, we, uh, is it not when they say that yeah. uh, in heaven <laughs> there, there is no boyfriend? <laughs> Mm. Please, do you want to resist the decision? <laughs> do you want to resist like the him. decision? I like, you like him. Yes. Uh, like, Please, yes. I think no. this is the part we are I, cutting for social. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we are putting it on Twitter specifically and tagging. No. Okay. You, you know how somebody hits you and then you want to hit the pen? It's your reflex. No, you see, that right. yeah. means, yes. yes. It's no, just, that means it's, it's actually you see, what true. is in my head is different from what is on my mouth. No, what I, what no, I intended no. to say is different from what was if you are noir. Yes. Okay, so what's that one thing that you've been doing with him in 2022 that you don't think because I liked I want us to follow suit the, the topic mm. again. What is that one thing? Though he's your friend. Yeah. Your friend see how far what should we say? Mm. Uh, we don't even know. <laughs> yeah, what's that one thing? What what are you bringing in? Yeah, to twenty what what are you not bringing in twenty twenty three? Between him and me? Yes. Um I don't think there's there's any Does he in any way pay your bills? No. That that I, I try to not get to that. I don't want to tow that line. Okay, so this year if he decides to pay your bills. <sighs> With the way the economy is, I, I mean you. <laughs> It won't hurt. It okay. won't hurt. But I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'll still feel the same way mm -hmm. because I've always been that type of person that if you do if you do anything monetary for me, then I feel like I owe you. Okay. And I don't like to feel that okay. way. Okay. So. I forgot. Have you been faced with a challenge or a challenge of not being able to forgive? The way that not like like you know what? I just you're only human, but you would say I just cannot forgive you. Have you have you? had that situation before i think i have and sometimes it's really the little things you know sometimes it's just something little that triggers you so for example a friend 
a friend just promised, you know, I take my birthday personal. I mean, we all saw it on the show and I <laughs> cried and all of that. But I'm just saying that, like, I take certain things very personally. So if my, a friend reached out, I was sitting my somewhere. Minding your business. And you reached out and told me that, this was like, I think two, three years ago. Um, he reached out and he's like, oh, you know what? I know your birthday is coming up. When is it exactly? I tell you. And then um, you say, okay. So uh, your lunch is on me. And mind you, this was a time in my life where I was very broke. <laughs> yeah? I didn't yeah. have, I didn't have, she, she. I didn't have, ha. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, when he said that, I, I was, I, I felt good. That oh okay because I so didn't have anything for that same day day or what? Yeah. Because why though? Because you had lots of cake that day. You had lots of food that day. Who, who said? I yes, saw John bring your cake. No, no, not this year. I said this was. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's not this year. Okay. Yes, okay. like three, four years ago, oh, right? Oh wow. Yeah, okay. I was really. <sighs> I understand that. I understand that. <laughs> you yeah. Were so <laughs> so then I, the day comes and. I, I'm seated, very ready. I have finished my work, and I, I'm I'm ready to go for lunch. Mm. And when I call, this man is not picking. Okay, then mm. of course I hope you have not forgiven, because mm. I, I hope that's, you have not forgiven yeah, him. That's, that's, ah, exactly. So then, like after, like around three o'clock, and then he texts me that, oh, he's not around. He's in Kumasi, really? and I'm like, ah. okay. But if you the are lunch? not even around, at least say, lunch day, say it's got. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> send the momo. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, and, and it just felt so bad that I had to ask because I was so hungry. Oh my oh. God. Oh. Oh. On my own birthday. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Then this is too emotional. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it? You don't talk to him again? So I didn't speak to him for like two years. And then recently he hits me up and he's like, he knows what he did. He's very sorry and he has thought about it. Uh, and he, he thinks that I will not even respond to this message, but if I can find it in my I'm heart. happy we're here. So how did you let go? What's that one thing you looked at? How did you let go? You know, times, times and seasons, right? Mm. So now, two years after, I'm looking back and it's like, it still hurts that just like, it's, it's just such a little thing, but that little thing really, really hurts. And now I'm looking back and it's like, it's a worth it at Yeah. All. I, I, I mean, as you left my life, it's not like I broke, it, nothing happened. I, I don't talk to you and I'm still fine. fine. So, Charlie, it's fine. Okay, yeah. okay. Today, how, what are you doing to have such a perfect relationship? What have you been letting go so much that you're so lightweight to have such a perfect <laughs> relationship? Talk to us, well, um, for me, one thing I, I really take seriously is communication. Trust me, if you don't communicate with me, even if you are going to kill somebody, tell me, tell me, let's be in sync, let's align, so I know what to say, <laughs> I mean, when the police come. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so you, you have to communicate with me, and I, I, I do very well to, to, you know, do that with my partner all the time, communication, if you don't tell me, trust me. It's, it's like you've beaten me. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. If you don't tell me you're going to do something or this is it. Oh, I'm not coming home early. Yeah. I'll go here. Tell me. Okay. Even if it's the next day you are coming, just let me know. I'll sleep. Right. Yes. Right. <laughs> wow. Okay. We'll go for a quick breather, guys. Yeah. It's not me. When we come back, I'd like to take your personal advice. If you met your younger self, or if you met your age, or you met somebody you can talk to, somebody who can have your attention, and said that there's just a stone, there's just this burden I'm carrying, and I really do not want to like start my 2023 with it, please. And I do not want to go to a counselor. I don't want to be judged. I want to talk to you. Let's hear what you tell them, okay? So guys, this is the dish, we'll right back. Now, 
But beyond the festivities of this season, Christmas is also a time to give back, change and touch lives. We at MX24 are inviting you to join us in raising funds for the surgery of six-year-old Rashida Yakubu, who is suffering from cloth foot defect. Our target is to raise 35,000 Ghana cities that will be used for the corrective surgery. It's our utmost desire to raise the funds for the surgery for this month of December, whatever you have. However, little would be very much appreciated. Please send all your donations to Momo number 0546-660-115, 0546-660-115 to Blackfoot Publications. Or you can also send to APSA bank account number 108211, MX24 Media Limited, High Street Branch. Now the reference for all your transactions should be Rashida Yakubu in all your donations. Together let's help change Rashida's life for the better. Thank you and God bless you so much for your donations. My name is Irene Adafia. My company name is Sadaru Foods. I process fish powder and shrimp powder. I try all the stores, but most of them tell me that it's expensive. But after I opened the business account with APSA, and APSA introduced me to APSA Young Africa Works program. They really inspired me a lot to have a bigger vision for my business. So right now, I supply supermarkets. In future, I want my business to grow to another level where I will employ a lot of people. What I want to tell all the entrepreneurs who have business idea, company, which is dragging, I want them to come and open the business account with APSA to benefit from their training and funding to grow their business. Welcome back to The Dish and on behalf of myself and of Furiwa again, happy, happy new year. And this is our very first one, The Dish in 2023. We thought that why not? We want you to let go of a lot of things. Do not carry so unimportant things from 2022 into 2023. So we thought again, creme de la cremes of MX24 sharing their life experiences those who are not too sure whether they're in love or they're not in love. <laughs> I love, I love, I love. I mean, yeah, be tired all of a sudden. <laughs> or put the draw, I have to say. Okay, so yes, I, if, you, if you just tuned in, I'm so sorry. You've lost, yeah, you missed a lot. I know you watched the repeat and all, but we're still at the last lap of the uh, conversation. Um, just before we went on that break, I was asking them that if they met their younger self, okay, what would they be telling them that burdens are like a thorn? You just will not have your freedom. You just cannot move. You can, you can go in that speed if you're carrying that um, luggage. What can they say to them? This is purely non-professional advice and all of that. But what they tried, really, you know, tested, and it worked for them. For Afro Girl, one thing I'm picking is that time yeah. and season, she depended on time. But the question is, you don't have control of time. Yeah. A lot can happen in two years. I'm sorry, this person must, could have died, you know? Yeah. And then you're wondering, why can I just not forgive this person? Yeah. So time is good, but is it always? Yeah. Okay, let's go to Yabita. So you last year, January, yeah. you had that hard work. You only said me, what card to me to me? Okay, but what would you tell your young self? Because again, from January all the way to October, you would have almost used your abacha to war his hey. face. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you also, time played a major role. But now you've experienced it and experimented, what would you tell your young self? Okay, when the heartbreak happened, I, I don't know what was going on in my head, but I was just refusing to take chances. I was refusing. I was working, and I would, I would just go to work and just be sitting there. Okay. If I meet my younger self, who was going through a similar thing, all I would tell the person is, see, take chances, move out of your circle, do things that you want to do, read, go see a movie, go to a restaurant, eat, 
dance, shout, stand in the rain, anything that even if you want to scream, scream outside and just let it go. People can let things go in a second. It mm -hmm. took me months. But the day I decided, okay, I was going to let this thing go, it didn't even take more than five seconds. I just sat there and I was like, you know what, it's not really necessary. Let me let it go. Just take chances. As a person that, as a child that also didn't take a lot of chances when I was younger, if I meet my younger self, please take chances. You want to be an engineer, start something. You want to be a doctor, tell your parent. You want to be a journalist, parents usually don't like that. You want to, you want to be a journalist, your father says no. Sit him down and explain to him why and how you want to go about it. That's the only thing I can say. It took me 22 years mm -hmm. before I could sit my father down, get the courage and tell him that this was the reason why I wanted to. I almost became an accountant because I was scared to say something. So please, mm -hmm. just okay. say it. While you're at it, I want you to balance it by letting us know how human can always be human and the concern of abuse because they know that you can always let it go mm -hmm. you know yeah. so there has to be that fine balance yeah. where uh, yeah i know that i can let it go but, but you can try <laughs> <it>. <laughs> you know yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I mean I don't, I don't know i think it, when you think about it it all boils down to how much it's affecting you mm. you as a person because mm. If at the end of the day it's affecting your life, it's, a, it's affecting every decision you make, it's a, like you holding on to that baggage is affecting every aspect of your life. Nobody can even talk to you, nobody can relate to you because it's like you're always in a bad mood. Yeah, you're it's always sitting angry. on your chest, it's on your face. Every, see, recently, I don't even want to talk about it, but yeah, it, I was holding on to something. House. against like a, a former colleague and mm. I just I couldn't breathe mm. like if I was in the same room with her you I couldn't would, breathe yes I I start hyperventilating, hyperventilating. <laughs> what's the meaning of hyper what's like, so like like because kind of like, I is it a slang word or is it a medical no, it's, 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 it's a, a word is it a word <laughs> Okay, I'll check Why it out. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Yes. Breathing Almost like normally. Yeah. Attack. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, I because gonna... I want to fight. Okay. Yeah, like I like I wanted to and I wanted and, to fight. And wait a minute, and it wasn't an issue of you and your anger issues or no, it was no, no, solely no, no. this person. No, it's, it's, and they're toxic it's, behavior. It's, it's something the person had done against me that like I couldn't say it to their face. Yes. I couldn't like say it. So then eventually I don't know, Sha. But some people when you realize that it's, it's, sometimes you just realize that you're not worth it. Mm. Don't yeah. waste it at all. So then you figure out a way to. You have to figure out. Yeah. Figure the, the, it out. The, the gray area is the figuring out. Yeah. Of the way. That's the hardest part. But we mm. also can not stay here and behave like we're saying, right? Yes. yes. We may have done one or two things oh. to, mm. to send people that, you know, did they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you guys had so, a little, you know, <laughs> we had a session today. Yeah. But back home, friends, family, church, you know. Who or what have you done that you can be bold enough to want to talk about it and maybe send the message through me to tell them that you want them to let it go? So, and um, this is actually very personal. Mm -hmm. um, about three years, I, I lost my mom. And wow, you're a veteran. So, are you kidding me? Wow, like, yeah, some people are seniors. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, this is dark humor. <laughs> <laughs> Very dark. <laughs> I'm not too sure whether I should laugh or cry myself. Okay. So, um, you know, um, growing up, um, I was with my dad. And then later, because of his busy work schedules, I, I went to stay with um, family, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, when my mom passed, I felt that I didn't have the support that like I needed it's it's like it, and the family was paternal side right it wasn't so I felt that they they, they were not feeling what I was feeling mm. how I was um, relating to it it wasn't affecting them directly right yes so I don't know <laughs> instead of maybe like giving me the talk or helping me go through it like everybody just wake up and they'll do what's like normal, like nothing has happened. 
Yeah. And I, I went through a whole lot of, I don't know, I don't know how to call it. Emotional. I, know what you mean. I, yeah. I sometimes, at a point, I'm like, I blame you. At a point, I blame my dad. At a point, I blame myself. And I'm like, you don't care about me enough. Like, you, you just didn't care about me, what I was going through. And I, ho I was pretty young, and I was my mother's only child. And this was the case where I had not seen her for like years. And the last time I, I met her, she was in the hospital, and it was like a week, and then she passed. And so, like, <laughs> I, would, I, would, I really wish they had done better. Like, think about my emotions. Mm. And, and I, I really shut myself down. It took a very long time for me to, like, come to terms with... I just left. I just left. I told my dad I didn't want to be there anymore. And they thought I was being childish. But I thought that... I wasn't going to get the emotional support that I, I, I need. Like, any time I go through something, I'll not get it from you. Okay. So I would leave. Mm. And then, you know, so from that day on, I've, I've, I've been dealing with my own emotions. Like, I don't talk to anybody. What, what do you want? Do you want to forgive yourself, forgive your dad, or you want your dad to call and apologize? What would make it lighter for you? I don't know. It's... it's I just feel it, it's, it's gone. Is it? Is it really? Is yeah. it? Is <laughs> it? Yeah, very good is question. It? But do you talk to your dad every now and then? The problem is I don't talk to my dad. Okay. So my dad and I just like, <laughs> you know what? When I was growing up, it, it was like, hey, don't cry in front of me. Mm. Yes. But has he moved on? Yeah, he has. Has he married him? Oh, yes, 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 oh. yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Yes, so, I mean, now he's, he's, he's better. Well, at first, I, I, I thought of it as um, he wasn't there. And I didn't even tell him what I was going through mm. and all of that. Mm. I, I didn't tell him about it. Okay. Because I was there because he wasn't available. Right. And I expected that the people that I was with will understand me yeah. more mm -hmm. and then give me the support that I needed. But mm. if, 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 if your mom walked through the studio door, mm. like an angel that you can see here now, what's that one thing you ask her? What, what, can, I, what can you do to make it better? That's yeah. what I mean. What would you need to make it better? Well, I, <laughs> I always blame myself because I, I felt that I, I should have gone to her more. Okay, I but that's called not your fault, more, though. More often. Is that right. your fault? To bring your dad? Anyway, <laughs> anyway, as, as the two of you are sitting here like that, yeah. and that this person did me that, somebody didn't buy me lunch. <laughs> what did you ever, what have you done to somebody? What's that one thing that you're hoping you can look them in the eye and say that, please forgive me? It's my little sister. Okay. For the longest time, I couldn't grasp the reality that I had a little yeah. sister. I didn't know the concept of being a big sister. But I I know that I, I, I'm starting now because on the first of January I sat with her and I spoke to her. Just this yesterday. Yes. Just just in this. how many years? Yeah. She's thirteen. That, that's how bad it is. Why was she brought from somewhere? No. You know, I was I, I was her. I was the last baby for eleven years before she okay. came. Okay. Oh. And yeah. so I just hated the fact that there was somebody there. Did you yeah. not see your mom pregnant? The no. thing is, I never <laughs> saw her. Rolling, <laughs> like, they just, they they just sprung up on you. I came back from school, and she's holding a baby. Like, okay, but that's not Bro, fair. Yeah. What the yeah, hell? Yeah, like, I'm a queen, and, yes. you know. And then okay. the, what annoyed me was the people who come in the house when your last baby. That's that Ghanaian culture. You yeah. have two yeah. ideas, so I think I, I was get so, it. And yeah. I think that thing overshadowed me for a long time, but now I'm doing better. I mean, I feel like What's her name? Lodina. Okay, okay. So the first thing I did, trying to make amends, was to buy her a phone. So I got her an iPhone 7. Look at that. And then I told her that from today going, and you know, she's yet to have her menses and all of this. And I told her, if uh, anything happens, I'm the me. first person yeah. That's you're your calling. Uh, that's so, cool. Cool. Very and I'm, I'm very okay with But at what point did you think you needed to catch up and do better? She was sitting with my brother, and they were having a conversation. I had closed from work, and I went. I, I, I was interested in the conversation. And then she said, oh, it's fine. Gabby knows. 
okay. We don't do that over here. Okay. Gabby knows what. Okay. Then I went to her and I was like, tell me. And then she was like, oh, brother, Gabby knows already. I was like, nah. I'm not doing well. And I went to my mom because I felt like my mom was... I don't know why I went to my mom. And my mom was like, eh, So now, that, that's what I asked her. I, what I was asking her for forgiveness, she was just sitting there looking at she me. She didn't know what forgiveness was. She started me and I said, oh, yeah, she... I can understand. Ma'am, ma'am, it's about that so... lunch person and that person that was <laughs> no, giving you. No, no, what word did you put in palpitations or were <laughs> high 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 No, that was a different person. No. The hyperventilation was a different person. Sister. Yeah. 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 Okay. They, they've been offended. I'm, I'm, they've been I'm offended. an easy going person. So, like, people think that they can just do it. And, and walk just, all over. Yeah. You. Okay, but you, what have you done to somebody that you're so much aware of? <laughs> the, <laughs> So, okay, I have a friend, had, have, had, had. <laughs> yeah, she, she's not talking to me again. Oh. So, it's, yes, friend squad. I mean, if you watch my Snap and stuff, you, you know my people. How do I people roll. get on Snap, though? Ah. <laughs> you know, you Snapchat there. Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, squad, and um, we're going to celebrate one person's birthday. And the celebrant herself was late. The celebrant said she's going to pick me and another person. Okay. Yes. And she was late to come pick me. And now we've, we've arrived. Like she, we were waiting for her. She comes and then some plenty things. But basically she was late and the other person was there at the restaurant um. waiting for like close to an hour. So obviously yes. she's gonna be angry. Yes. Mm. She's gonna be yes. angry. Yes, but in my defense, we told you don't leave the house. We'll tell you when to leave the house, and then you. <laughs> you <laughs> Pukuma left the house. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So now we've gotten there, and I'm I'm in the kind. I'm like you people. I know that this girl is going to be pissed because if it was me, I would be angry and I'll walk out. Yeah. So we got there, and then we're trying to you know calm her down that oh we are sorry it's not our f it's not it's not even our fault but I'm, I'm not ready to throw the celebrant under, under the, the bus, bus. because mm. it's her day so like if, even if you're saying that it's my fault sure but like and then she fled up and she's like no i'm not going to take it you don't respect me and you don't respect my time and i was just like Okay. But that's true. Yes, but at that point, point. in front of everybody... everybody but you left her waiting there in yes. front of everybody. Yes, but you see, there, there are a lot of factors. If you calm down and you listen to the story, Yusuf, you will be sad <laughs> for the celebration. <laughs> Do you understand? Okay. Yeah, so like, I, we were just trying to calm her down. But she won't listen. Yes, so then I was like, you know what, it's fine. You, you can go. And that's it. And she left. Yeah. And truly, she left. Yeah, she, and she, that's it. No, so what did you reach? What's her name? Oh. What's her name? <laughs> yes. What is her name? Jessica. Just because I'm the host. <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> Jessica. Are you sure? Yeah. Jessica. So apologize to Jessica now. Oh. We are sorry. Jungle. We are sorry, Jessica. We I miss you, Jessica. We, we, the squad that we. <laughs> Because Apolo when she apologize. left, no, when she left, Lupus. we went to eat. We still called. <laughs> so I'm saying, like, on behalf Lupus. of everybody, like, I'm actually sorry. Yeah. Are you? No, to be honest, yes. Because, it, you know, it's a squad thing. And now it's left to three people. Or something. No, now it's left to two people. Two people is not squad. <laughs> so <laughs> say it properly. Yeah. Jessica. So, Jessica, I'm really sorry about everything. But I think if we have a discussion about everything that went on, you would have... Like the full. Do you know idea. that people do not have to have the full picture, but you can just tell them you're sorry. Yeah, I, I'm saying. Like, yeah, I'm actually saying that I'm sorry. This is the but part we'll cut, so you put on your snap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that. I'm sorry, and I, I actually want to explain exactly what okay. happened, so that then send you can flowers, then make the gift. decision send on whether or not Please. you want to forgive me or not. Do you okay. understand? So I'll, okay. I'm sorry, but like, let me explain and then. If you want to forgive me, great. If you don't want to, too. Sure. Oh. Should we accept that kind? Is this it? Is the better no. boy is <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. Oh, I am sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's, she's a really good friend. She's, she's 
she's that one person that you would want in your corner. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Jessica, wherever you are. We are sorry. Yeah. We are sorry. You are that luggage we want to carry into 2023. Yeah. <laughs> she's sorry. She is sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, sorry, right? Yeah. Oh, I oh. am. Oh. <laughs> you be more than you want me to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Guys, 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 I've had a swell time. But quickly, before we go, assessing medical services shouldn't be hassled. That's why Britannia Medical Center has designed a suitable app called Ginger. So Ginger has got a, a H in the gene somewhere. Ginger Healthcare is a private online healthcare provider with a mission to provide convenient healthcare service to all. You can access healthcare services on Ginger by downloading the app from the App Store or Google Play Store. The services available on Ginger virtual platform include booking medical appointments, medical refills, taking labs, video or phone consultation, and elderly care packages. You can call them on 0202 611 2 for more information. Or you can also locate them uh, inside Summer, near Oko Olaya Avenue, Community 22. Guys, I have had a swell time. I still have some, some like, some minutes, you know, because I got here to mention your sister's name. Yes. And Georgina. Jessica, yeah. you know. <laughs> Three of us would have to, you know, just because it's a dish and it has to be, like the meal has to be complete. Yes. You know how a dish looks, uh -huh. you know. We'd have to go to <laughs> my lady uh, the day and uh, would ask you that one thing. What's that one thing that if you did now, your mom would be happy about you and your father's relationship, wherever she is? What's that one thing you think about that oh. if you did, your mom, regardless, would be happy? Well, now I have a very good relationship with my dad. Beautiful. But I felt that he could have done better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. No, no, I, I actually, no, there's actually a problem here in Ghana. Yeah. You know, we don't take mental health, especially if you're a child. Yeah. Nobody really cares. Mm -hmm. Like, now we're now we're depression. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, but I mean, now we are, we are fine. Oh, even this dawn, he called me complaining about my cousin B. We got saved. Okay. Yeah, we are fine. Okay. We are okay. fine now. Yeah. Just you think he could yeah. have done better. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, I bet this is a good start to the year, especially on the dish here at MX24. Also, apart from Muniano, Oh, it's just the, the hatred. Will I call it hatred? Yes, yeah, hatred. Let's see. Pff, let me not lie. It was the hatred I had for my ex, but I'm okay now. Has he moved on? I don't know, and I don't really want to care. It's like you can not care on like, her behalf. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I feel, I feel like it looks like yes, he has moved on, but I'm, mm. I'm very comfortable okay. with it. Okay. Okay. Guys, my name is MFA Akusia Aditi, and I did this on behalf of Afariwa. Again, on behalf of Afariwa, myself and the team here, everybody at MS24, we wish you a happy, happy new year. This one especially from the dish here, the dish team. To you out there, thank you for making us number one. Of oh, everyone, won that award, but thank you, okay. <laughs> and we'll see you same time on Friday, 8 p.m. But, guys, of course, you'd watch the AM Club at 7 a.m. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. We are talking about fitness, okay? So, see you tomorrow.